Good morning, YouTube viewers, people. So, uh, let me just start off. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching. And we'll start off with, <clears throat> I no longer have my fourth gen. Fourth gen is officially gone and sold. No joking, no lying. The kid from my work bought it from me, <clears throat> gave me a cashier's check, and picked it up on Sunday. And I'm so lost of what day it is because uh, we've been having a lot of issues out here on the train tracks. So, yeah, been working seven days straight, um, or no, eight days straight. So I work from Monday to Sunday, or Monday to Monday, and a bunch of hours overtime. Uh, one day was like 10 hours overtime, another day was like 12 hours, 14 hours overtime. Anyway, kind of wore out. <clears throat> so you picked it up Sunday, I got called into work on Sunday, and then yesterday, sorry, Sunday when I was driving home in the Audi, because he bought the truck, uh the brake light came on so it said replace brake pads um anyway so i went to good old vata zone i ordered uh some brembo brake pads rotors they're somewhere from i don't know where they're at but they're they're somewhere in the mail or ups or fedex i don't know where they're at <clears throat> um show shipped but it doesn't show anything else so I ended up buying uh, some AutoZone Duralast sensors, some brake wear sensors. So I took the, I did the front, just assuming it was the front, and uh, because that's probably where the most wear was, but they actually don't look that bad. Um, the sensors are kind of close, <clears throat> so. Um, yeah, I ended up changing them yesterday, went for a drive, light's still on. Um, so I put new pads, and these are semi-metallic brake pads. Uh, and they feel good, they feel fine, but I do have uh, Brembo drilled uh, and ceramic pads coming uh, somewhere for all, all four corners. Sensor wires, pads bracketry, the little spring clip thingies, these little things. Um, but yeah, the front were not the problem, but I had $20 for AutoZone, and it ended up costing me 50 bucks for brake pads and sensors that I can just have as extra. So then I started digging around in the rear, because I checked the rear. You know, I looked in here with the mirror and everything, and everything looked good. They looked thick. So that's why I didn't think they were them. And then I came back in here. And you see that broken wire? So I don't know how these are designed or how they work. But uh, let me get this wheel off. And uh, I'll get back with you to show you what I think happened. So I'll be right back. Alright, so get the wheel off. So this is what I think happened. <clears throat> um, let's see that. Inside that rotor looks fine, but anyway, <clears throat> I'm just trying to see the brake pads. Oh yeah, that that sensor is into that rotor. So probably needed uh, rear brake pads, which means I'll probably have to I'll probably have to go get some uh, some rear brake pads because I don't know if you can see that if it'll focus. So that plastic thing with a hole in it. I don't know. That's hard to see. 
but uh, yeah. Let's see. So if you can see that rusted color is the rotor. That little plastic thing right above the white, the red wire, that is the sensor, which means that these uh, pads are no good. Um, so yeah, so I'll probably leave this apart and I'll probably take the wife's car and go get some uh, some rear brake, brake pads real quick. So let me go see if she wants to go with me. I figured what I was thinking what had happened was because they have this wire loom pinched in here so when it gets to a maximum when the brakes come together it pulled this wire off so um, that's what I was thinking but upon further inspection we see that it needs brake pads so, yeah, let me go see if uh, the wife wants to go with me to get brake pads. Like I said, I have brake pads coming. I don't know where they're at. I don't know. Um, uh, but, yeah, so let me do that and uh, get back in this video. Maybe I'll buy two more sensors and then I'll just have extra brake pads. Or the kit that I have on order or coming. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just save that for later because uh, these brakes seem to be fine. Um, or maybe I'll be able to cancel that order. So anyway guys, uh, yeah, let me go get those and then uh, we'll come back. We'll show you guys what we did or what I did. I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm back from the AutoZone and I changed the brake pads in the rear already. <clears throat> so I guess how these work is, or are, as you can see, this one's not too bad. And over here, that was the outside of the caliper. And then this is the inside of the caliper. So I guess, I don't know, I've never, this is all new to me. So how this works is the rotors wear into it. And I guess <clears throat> that wire will sit down in there. If that makes sense. Oh, that wire that's broken, it sits down in there, and then I guess it get it gets cut. So as you can see, that one's still got some life on it. And this one does not have the life on it. So there we go. I'll show you, I'll show you better on this one. So that wire goes into that hole, and then that wire goes along this metal contact, and then because it's worn out, it just breaks, and it breaks contact. So creating a short, basically, and then that's what tells the light to come on. So, first experience with that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so now it's got front brake pads, rear brake pads, sensors, sensor wires. The front sensor wires are still good. The brake pads are still good. It was actually just the rear. I could have got away with just doing the rear. But, however, it is what it is. It's been like a hundred bucks. I think a hundred bucks for new sensors and new pads front and rear. So, uh, with that being said, I guess this will be my daily driver. Um, hoping to purchase a new truck this Saturday. Today is Monday. This video will be going up tonight, Monday. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I was dealing with this week, uh, or last week, and just working, 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 working away. So, um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys uh, give me a like below, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for subscribing if you have. And uh, that's going to be it. All right, guys. 
Uh, look forward to some more to some more videos of Project Crack Pipe and some more Thursday tool reviews. Um, got some more tools. Got a tool in um, from Olsa Tools. Olsa O L S A Tools dot com. Um, I'll be reviewing that uh, tool here shortly. Um, a couple weeks, whatever it is. Sorry, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.